you like a bitch. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very special guest with me. <laughs> she is Tasnova, she is my classmate and she's a really good singer. So <laughs> And she's flattering me. No. So. <laughs> no. She actually is a really good singer. So please do follow her on Facebook. And what? <laughs> you, would you would you like to say something? This woman is a good woman. No. No? No. 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 I love this woman. No. No? I know, you do love <laughs> Okay. okay, so let's jump into the tutorial. Yay! Bye. Bye. So first I'm starting off with a primer and for that I'm taking Nivea Aftershave Balm. And for the foundation I'm taking L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105 and 109 and blending that into the face with a flat top kabuki brush. Now I'm taking a little pro concealer in the shade orange to color correct her under eyes. And to highlight her face I'm taking a little pro concealer in the shade yellow. This is also a color corrector but as you guys know I love using this as a highlight. And I'm highlighting her under eyes, uh, bridge of the nose, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. Now to contour her face I am taking that same concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze and contouring the hollows of her cheekbones, side of her nose and the sides of her forehead. Also a little bit on her jawline. And I am also taking the Flower My Contour and Highlight palette and taking the lightest shade And again blending that out with a flat top kabuki brush. Now to bake her face I'm taking RCMA no color translucent powder. Now dusting the excess off with a brush. Now I'm doing her eyebrows with the Jacqueline eyebrow pencil. Now for the transition shade, I am taking a mid-tone brown from the VH Cosmetics Party Girl After Hour palettes and blending it into her crease. 
I'm then taking a pink shade from that same palette and I'm also using that shade as a transition shade. As I wanted a more intense pink, that's why I'm taking the Smart Shopping non burn 2 palette and taking that intense pink shade and again blending that as a transition shade. And now for the base of her smoky eyes, I'm taking Million Pauline Black Gel Liner and using this as a base. I'm basically covering uh, the entire lid and bringing it down to the lower lash line. And now with a pencil brush, I'm blending out the edges. Now taking a black eyeshadow, I'm going to set the base and then blending it out with an angled blending brush. Now she's lining her waterline with a pink lip liner. And I'm taking a golden lipstick as a base because I will be using a really intense pink glitter on top. Now taking the lilac shade from the Slick Solstice Highlight Palette and I'm highlighting her eyebrow bones and the inner corners of her eyes and for the contour I'm taking NYX Contour and Highlight Palette and taking the darkest shade from there and again highlighting her cheekbones with the Slick Solstice Highlight Palette. And I'm also highlighting her nose. For blush, I'm taking a Colourpop blush, I do not remember the name, I will list it down below. And for lip liner, I'm taking Jacqueline lip liner in the shade Nutmeg and uh, I'm covering the entire lips and then on top I'm taking Colourpop liquid lipstick in the shade Donut. Now I'm taking Golden Rose Maximus mascara. And I'm also adding some falsies. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. And please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.